As we know, looks can be deceiving, especially when it comes to animals. They might appear cute and cuddly on the outside, but on the inside, they are an aggressive beast not to be trusted. The same can be said for many humans. However, most aren't capable of seriously maiming or killing you with a single blow. From the fearless Bengal tiger to the curious bull shark, here are 15 most aggressive animals on the planet. Number 15. Bengal Tiger A true symbol of courage, the Bengal tiger is both beautiful and strong. It also has a reputation for being fearless and is considered one of the top predators in the world. After Siberian tigers, the Bengal is the heaviest and largest cat in the world. It is also the oldest, with fossils found in Sri Lanka dating back 16,500 years. Like all tigers, the Bengal has stripes on its fur and skin, so if shaved, the stripes remain. Each breed of tiger has different stripes, which means they can be easily distinguished from one another. The Bengal has 30 teeth, but its canines are the ones that do all the work. They measure up to 7.6 centimeters in length and can easily break the vertebrae of prey. The canines are also used to rip the skin off of animals. These guys are ruthless when it comes to mealtime. They're also very intelligent and have the heaviest brain of all carnivores except the polar bear. This ensures they also have a better memory than humans, with their short-term memory alone lasting about 30 times longer than ours. That's impressive, don't you think? Occasionally described as man-eaters, the Bengal is considered the most ferocious and dangerous tiger on the planet. They are also among the most unsocial. These guys prefer to live a solitary lifestyle, sleeping, hunting, and patrolling their territory alone. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Bull Shark some experts believe that the bull shark is the most dangerous shark in the world, and it's easy to see why. These sharks have a reputation for being aggressive and can often be found cruising the shallow, warm waters of the entire world's oceans, exactly where us humans like to hang out on occasion. The bull shark is also very common. And that one there has an enormous... So it's not surprising that there's been the odd accidental encounter. They aren't fussy when it comes to their watery surroundings and even venture inland via rivers if need be. Historically, bull sharks are joined by their more famous cousins, great whites and tiger sharks. These three species are considered the most likely to attack humans. The bull shark, like the tiger and great white, is a fast, agile predator. It is not a picky eater and will eat almost anything, including fish, dolphins, even other sharks. Humans, however, are not on the menu. Well, at least not intentionally. The bull shark, however, is on ours. They are fished widely for their meat, hides, and oils. In fact, in a typical year, more than 20 million sharks will die at the hands of humans and the fishing industry, whereas fewer than 20 people will die by shark attack. Number 13. Wolverine. The Wolverine is a stocky and muscular omnivore with very little resemblance to the Marvel Comics character played by Hugh Jackman. What kind of monster are you? The Wolverine. For one, this is an actual animal that is not generally aggressive to humans. The Wolverine is the largest land-dwelling species of the Mustelidae family. It is a stocky and muscular character, not unlike a small bear, and has glossy brownish-black hair with strips of light brown along the sides. Like many other wild animals, they prefer to avoid humans where possible. This may be due to prior altercations, as early trappers were known to kill them if they were found attacking an animal caught in one of their traps. <laughs> 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 
The Wolverine story is one of resilience, as they were once hunted to near extinction for their fur. Since then, they've made a comeback and are currently a species of least concern. These furry little characters have extremely sharp claws, love the cold of the boreal forests and tundras in North America, can travel incredible distances, and are pretty elusive. So don't expect to be able to find one on a whim. Number 12. Killer Bees – Africanized Bees Africanized bees, or killer bees, are a hybrid species of the western honeybee. They are believed to have been established when bees from southern Africa and local Brazilian honeybees mated and were first identified as such in Brazil in the 1950s. After a handful of swarms escaped quarantine, these bees quickly spread through both Central and South America. They were first discovered in the United States in 1985 at an oil field in California and arrived in Texas from Mexico in 1990. <laughs> Today, these dangerous, stinging insects are found in Southern California, Southern Nevada, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Western Louisiana, Southern Arkansas, and Central to Southern Florida. Africanized honeybees should be avoided where possible. Not only do they have a dangerous sting, they are so aggressive that they've been known to chase people for more than a quarter of a mile. Now that's some serious commitment to the cause, don't you think? Biochemists have long been interested in what makes these bees into such ferocious fighters. To find out, they have tracked down the brain chemicals responsible. The compounds, which seem to be present in higher levels in this particular species, can even make the most docile bee turn feral. And it's a compound that's not just limited to bees. It may also play a role in aggression in other animals. Killer bees are incredibly territorial and particularly fierce. In fact, statistics show they are responsible for the deaths of more than 1,000 people. There's certainly no argument that these guys are dangerous. Number 11. Honey Badger like the wolverine, honey badgers are part of the Mustelidae family. They're not very big, but what they lack in stature, they more than make up for in aggression. This aggression really comes out to play when the honey badger is surprised by predators. These little guys aren't scared of much, but when they're caught by surprise, they'll really come out fighting. It's easy to understand when you imagine they're probably digging their noses in the ground and they have poor eyesight. Completely oblivious to their surroundings, the badger is certain to get quite a fright when rushed upon by an assailant. Their first line of defense is similar to the skunk. They release a potent scent from their anal glands and this normally has predators running. If not, their aggressive stance as they stand at attention with their hackles raised probably will. Attackers that are a bit slow to retreat are guaranteed to be bitten. Although their name alludes to the fact that they raid beehives, honey badgers mainly hunt rodents, reptiles, and insect larvae, along with the occasional antelope calf, cheetah cub, and eagle chick. Number 10. Crocodiles these large, semi-aquatic reptiles live in the tropics of Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. Formidable creatures, their jaws can snap bones like twigs. In fact, if you come face to face with one, you best be prepared, because it might be the last thing you see. Their jaws are super strong, and their teeth are both highly visible and razor sharp. Described as a predatory animal, the crocodile is believed to be born with aggressive instincts. Yeah, that's right, after some research, scientists say these ferocious reptiles come out of the womb ready to bite, even if it's one another. In one study, the behaviors of 90 saltwater crocodile hatchlings were observed to determine the extent of their combative nature. It revealed that these babies have the same level of aggressiveness as adults who had spent significantly more time in the wild. This species of croc has a reputation as being one of the most aggressive in the world as an adult. But if this research is correct, this isn't a learned behavior, they're just born that way. 
Despite the size and aggressive nature of the saltwater crocodile, they are currently at risk. Their hides are valuable above all members of the crocodile species, and without the efforts of wildlife conservation, their numbers could plummet. Number 9. Cassowary These large, flightless birds look very similar to their cousin, the emu. They are native to the tropical forests of New Guinea, East Nusa Tenggara, the Maluku Islands, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Although they have a bit of a reputation for aggression, they're quite striking to look at. They have a vivid blue face, two red flaps of skin hanging from their neck, and a hollow helmet on top of their heads. But it's not their head that you need to worry about. The anatomy that makes them so dangerous sits lower down. Not surprisingly, given their sizable body, the cassowary has very muscular legs. These legs can pack a powerful kick, and the three claw tip toes on the end of them are even more dangerous. One claw is particularly formidable. The one on the inner toe can reach lengths of 12 centimeters. Imagine being stabbed by that, ouch! Unfortunately, if a cassowary feels threatened, it will bring out all its weaponry, leaping up and striking out with these dagger-like claws. The wounds inflicted can be lethal, particularly if internal organs are compromised, so it pays to keep your distance. Number 8. The Peregrine Falcon the peregrine falcon is not only the fastest member of the animal kingdom, it is also one of the most aggressive. <laughs> this impressive bird has a cruising speed of between 40 and 60 miles per hour, but can reach speeds of up to 220 miles per hour when diving down to catch its prey. Imagine that coming towards you. You'd be hard pressed to get out of the way in time. But I guess that's what this bird counts on. This widespread bird of prey has a blue-gray back, barred white underparts, and a black head. As is typical for bird-eating raptors, the female peregrine falcon is considerably larger than its male counterpart. Peregrine falcons are one of the most widespread terrestrial vertebrate species in the world and are found almost everywhere, except for rainforests and cold, dry Arctic regions. They prefer open habitats such as grasslands, tundra, and meadows, and are active during the day, almost exclusively preying on smaller birds. Although they are considered to be near the top of the food chain, they're not completely safe from predators and may be killed by other large birds of prey. But rest assured, they will go down fighting. They will aggressively defend their nests and will attack birds and mammals much larger than themselves to do so. Number 7. Weasel Surprisingly, these little characters are related to both the wolverine and the honey badger. They are all part of the Mustelidae family. And it's easy to see why. There are definitely some similarities, even if the weasel is significantly smaller than the other two. For one, they're all bold and aggressive predators. The weasel also has a similar stature to the honey badger in that it has short legs. But that's where the similarities end. The weasel has a very narrow body. This allows it to pursue and capture rodents in their burrows or chase them through holes and crevices in the ground. Although they're excellent hunters, they're also known for raiding chicken coops and birds' nests. So you can imagine this makes them pretty unpopular with farmers, not to mention Mama Bird. They generally hunt alone and often kill more prey than they can immediately consume. This food they will store for later. Weasels may look cute and cuddly, but take it from me, you really shouldn't get up close and personal with these killing machines. Not only are they bloodthirsty little characters with a super fast metabolism, they do a weasel war dance to celebrate their hunting prowess. This little dance is carried out once they have their prey cornered and is believed to distract their victims from what is to come. If that isn't bad enough, they spray a thick, oily, yellowish fluid that absolutely reeks when trapped by predators. They sound positively charming. Number 6. Black Mamba This species of snake is extremely venomous. It is also highly aggressive when threatened. 
The Black Mamba has been blamed for numerous human deaths. There are also many African myths that exaggerate its capabilities to epic proportions. It is now widely considered the world's deadliest. These snakes are native to savannas and rocky hills of southern and eastern Africa, and are believed to be the second longest venomous snake in the world. Mature specimens generally exceed 2 meters, but they can grow up to 3 meters long. Not only are they long and extremely venomous, but the black mamba is also fast. These slippery characters can reach speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour. Usain Bolt is faster, but not by much, so many of us mere mortals would struggle to escape this snake's clutches. You would think with a name like Black Mamba that they would be black, but they actually range from olive to gray. It's the inside of their mouths that are a blue-black color, a sight you only see when they're threatened. If you see it, you better get your running shoes on pronto. Number 5. Gray Wolf I don't think this animal needs much introducing, do you? Wolves are renowned the world over for their aggressive traits. In fact, they're often portrayed on the big screen as deadly predators. For some, it's a reputation they don't deserve, but for others, the label is warranted. In general, wolves try to keep clear of humans, but if they feel threatened, you better run for cover. The gray wolf is native to Eurasia and North America and is closely related to the coyote and golden jackal. In fact, they often breed, producing fertile hybrids. It is the largest living member of the Kennedy family, weighing up to 40 kilograms. The gray wolf is the more social of the species and often travels as part of a family unit consisting of two parents and their children. They are, however, well known for their territorial behavior and fights between packs are among the principal causes of wolf mortality. Wolves primarily feed on large, wild, hooved mammals as well as smaller animals. They have a long history of being despised and hunted in most pastoral communities because of attacks on their livestock. Attacks on humans, however, are rare as they prefer to live away from people. Numbers throughout the world are estimated to be around 300,000, and they are not considered endangered. Number 4. Baboon Like monkeys, baboons are primates. This means they have a large brain relative to their body size and are particularly reliant on their sight rather than their sense of smell. Their large, hairless bottoms that can turn red make them some of the most formidable of the monkey family. These old world monkeys have generous tufts of hair on either side of their faces, but don't have prehensile tails like some other monkeys. This means they are unable to use their tail like a hand and can't grasp or hold objects with it. According to National Geographic, baboons are the world's largest monkeys. From top to toe, they can measure up to 86 centimeters, with their tails giving them an extra 58 centimeters. They weigh as much as an average human child and are only found in Africa and Arabia. Baboons spend a lot of their time on the ground, but will retreat to a tree to sleep, eat or keep watch. They are very social creatures and hang out in troops. These troops can contain several hundred members. The young often play together just like human children, swinging from vines, chasing each other, and wrestling. Number 3. Tasmanian Devil this carnivorous marsupial looks like an oversized rat with a toothy grin, but it's not to be messed with. Its sharp teeth and strong, muscular jaws can deliver, pound for pound, one of the most powerful bites of any mammal in the world. Once native to mainland Australia, the Tasmanian Devil is now only found in the wild on the island state of Tasmania, including tiny East Coast Maria Island. The size of a small dog, the little devil has a stocky and muscular build, black fur, and a pungent odor, similar to that of a skunk. It also has an extremely loud and disturbing screech, keen sense of smell, and has absolutely no table manners when eating. 
Despite its rotund appearance, the Tasmanian hunts prey at speed and is able to climb trees and swim across rivers. It feeds off the decaying flesh of dead animals, as well as household products if humans are living nearby. These famously feisty mammals are usually solitary, but will sometimes eat with other devils. When threatened, Tasmanian devils have quite the reputation for flying into a fit of rage. They will even attack their mate if they feel threatened or are defending a meal. This intriguing behavior was portrayed on television screens throughout the globe when Looney Tunes created Taz the Tasmanian Devil, a snarling lunatic. The cartoon character was cute, but the real-life version is not to be trusted. Number 2. Hippo these semi-aquatic land animals are considered both aggressive and very dangerous. Their enormous heads are home to some seriously large teeth, and their tusks are ideal for fighting off threats, including humans. According to BBC, an estimated 500 people per year are killed by hippos in Africa. Even their young can fall victim to a hippo in a bad mood. Fights between adults can get so violent that a young hippo accidentally caught in the middle can be seriously hurt or even killed. Battles can be quite the heated affair, and these characters aren't small either. They're actually the second largest land animal on the planet. They normally occupy rivers, lakes, and mangrove swamps. However, they only glide through the water because they can't actually swim. This is unusual, given that according to National Geographic, they can stay underwater for up to five minutes without coming up for air. Hippos are also social beasts. They like to hang out in groups and chat amongst themselves. They are also very loud, snorting, grumbling, and wheezing at up to 115 decibels, about the same volume as you would get when 15 feet away from speakers at a rock concert. That's loud. It's no wonder they can communicate with each other from quite some distance away. Number 1. African Cape Buffalo this large sub-Saharan African bovine is huge and fierce. In fact, it is one of the most feared animals in Africa, and has earned it the names Widowmaker and Black Death. If that's not enough, its sheer size will have you quivering in your boots. The Cape Buffalo is a mass of muscles and represents a lethal threat to anyone or anything that crosses its path. These large animals can weigh anywhere up to 900 kilograms, but despite their generous frame, they're very fast and agile. They are also very powerful and among the few animals that do not respond to a threat with any type of warning. They simply take their unsuspecting victims by surprise. They can charge at them at up to 50 kilometers per hour, and to make matters worse, they have a set of very solid horns. Ouch! As well as attacking other animals, they have no problems taking on humans as well. In fact, they are believed to be responsible for 200 attacks on humans every year. With a reputation for being quite the fiery opponent, the Cape Buffalo strategy is simple. The best defense is the attack. If you've ever been to a gift shop and perused the aisles of stuffed animals, you've probably seen a range of cute and cuddly lions, tigers, and maybe the occasional hippo. They make the perfect toy for the young animal lovers to take home. But when it comes to the real deal, not so much. In captivity, they might appear cute, but in reality, most are extremely dangerous. So it's always best to be careful and stick to patting the stuffed toy version instead. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!